Veteran astronauts often disagree about what exactly they experienced and witnessed in outer space. Some think there's nothing but a moon, planets, stars, a few space stations, and some floating space junk up there. But other rocketeers feel that their own eyes have disproven NASA's decades of alien life denial. Here are five of the most shocking claims made by real-life astronauts. Let's begin. Number 5. Leroy's Lights most of us probably don't associate the name Leroy with rocket scientists navigating outer space, but in 2005, former International Space Station chief Leroy Chow documented an experience that would captivate UFO hunters forever. Chow was in his suit outside the station when he suddenly turned and saw an array of flying lights shaped like stars and arrows. The lights raced past him and disappeared before he could alert his partner, but the image has been recreated by artists from Chow's own account. The space traveler now claims that he is skeptical of UFOs and that what he saw must have been fishing boats. Hmm. Perhaps Chow got a visit from Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones or some even scarier men in black. Number 4. Putting the P in Space the first American to travel in space, Alan Shepard, was celebrated mostly by women across the United States. But the KG Playboy managed to keep one very embarrassing confession private until later in life. During Shepard's historic flight, NASA engineers realized that there was no way for the astronaut to urinate. Consumed with getting the capsule into orbit, technicians had forgotten that Shepard would be locked into a suit for three hours. Nature soon called, and the astronaut hilariously argued with mission control about finding a way to pee freely. Finally, a solution was reached. Alan Shepard peed in the suit he was wearing, the liquid forming a pool against his back. Hey, hey, come back, ladies. Where, where are you going? Number three. I bet that guy can dunk. So, this NASA employee never actually went into space, but his confession remains one of the most shocking potential accounts of alien life. Just recently, elderly Clark McClelland told reporters that when monitoring a launch in 1991, he witnessed a 9-foot-tall alien standing in the space shuttle. NASA won't even confirm he was there, but photos of McClelland on the NASA loading dock in full space gear bear out his claim of employment. The could-be contractor has documented the 1991 encounter on his website and often posts optimistic YouTube vids telling alien hunters to keep at it. Number 2. Tell us to stop. Dr. Edgar Mitchell, the sixth man to walk on the moon, also believes in the veracity of close encounter accounts claiming to have seen evidence of alien life and a NASA cover-up both on and off the Earth. Mitchell claims to have uncovered documents leading to the famous Roswell aliens, and unlike many people visited by UFOs, he claims to have communicated with ETs about a very specific topic, instead of the peace, love, and weird science messages reported by many self-proclaimed alien contactors. The Doctor's view is quite simple. The aliens came to Earth to prevent humans waging a nuclear war. They've seen it happen on other planets, and they don't want to see us blow ourselves up, too. That's why the timing of the Roswell incident is so conspicuously close to the first use of atomic weapons. Number 1. Stepping on it. First man on the moon, Neil Armstrong's quote, One small step from man, one giant leap from mankind, remains the most iconic soundbite sent from space ever. But not only was the line professionally edited and rehearsed, Neil also got it wrong. The astronaut was actually told to say one small step for a man, not one small step for man. The pilot has also revealed that the words were written and edited by a group of NASA officials. Rather than the unbridled joy he projects in the footage, Armstrong felt pressure to say his line correctly. Remember, it was the very first moon mission. Technically, Neil didn't know whether he would sink, melt, or be attacked by lunar monsters as soon as he stepped foot outside the shuttle. That kind of anxiety will wreak havoc on a man's grammar skills. And there, you have five shocking confessions of astronauts in space. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and share it, and if you haven't already, subscribe down below to get notified almost every single day with new videos from Top 5's Finest. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time...
We are 